the 34. First down and 10. Tony Brook with Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. They fake it to Taylor. And Hornybrook will just airmail that one. Third, third down a red zone that protect the ball above all else. On second down and 10. Give it to A.J. Taylor. Trying to turn the corner. Maybe picks up one on nine. Hornybrook all by himself in the backfield. Troy Fumagalli is his solid tight end. He loves on third down. Hornybrook will step up and throw, and it's caught by A.J. Taylor across midfield. This is a great sign for Wisconsin. Watch the step up from Alex Hornybrook. Sees the lane, and then this anticipation between two linebackers to A.J. Taylor. That's as good as you can do it from the quarterback position, and a great start for Alex Hornybrook. Jonathan Taylor checks back in as they move the chip. Three tight ends in the game. Handoff, Jonathan Taylor, his first carry, he's got first down yardage, and then some, ball comes out, we mentioned the fumble problem, Miami, his first carry will be interesting, hey look at there, it's a tight end, Brees, love him there, it's Austin Ramis, big part of that running game, and it's Taylor running behind Ramis and able to turn the corner, and he'll hang on to the footballs, he's banged single season record for a freshman, ball spotted at midfield, Taylor will get another opportunity, and he'll stumble forward. This offense needs to get some confidence as well. Second down and seven off the play fake. Hornybrook, strong throw to Kendrick Pryor. And he's got the first dish in front of him. And a quarterback under center. Hornybrook on the delay. And I mean a real delay on the draw. Jonathan Taylor. That 19. This was either a mix-up with Jonathan Taylor or a really great rook okie doke <laughs> He didn't even look like he was going to get the football there. And I think the two guys coming off, and then all of a sudden, getting after the defensive front. On first down. Here's Taylor. <laughs> Issue uh, as whole practice has gone on. That's Taylor in motion. They'll fake it to him. And they're trying to set up the screen to ravish the fullback and... Nothing doing. Right from Magali, right here, one on one. Hornybrook looking left and off the fingertip. Should have gone underneath to Fumagalli. Here he is. This is the primary read. And if this ball is put on the outside of number 81, right there, that's a first down. And that's a, a force from Alex Hornybrook. AJ Taylor, the receiver, just stopped running. Defensive back coach were also his idea. But that's what they wanted to create, hustle on defense. Strength in numbers. On first down from the nine. Hornibrook throwing from the goal line. It's on tape, and we're seeing here tonight, they get overmatched a little bit by speed, so they're going to have to continue to try different things. Second down and ten from the nine. Give it to Taylor. He's stuffed after a one-yard. So there's a huge tendency to run the football when 23's in the game. For obvious yes. reasons, I get that. He's a true freshman. He's not great in pass protection or catching the ball in the backfield. So that's something for Miami on third down and nine. Hornibrook out to screen it to Rasheed Ibrahim. Football comes out. Roughly nearly gets knocked over. Turnover by the true freshman early on. A bad punt, short field, allowing Miami to take charge early. 14-3, 2.45 left to play here in the first quarter. Here's Taylor on the ground. They'll keep feeding it to him. Jonathan. Exactly what happened in the Ohio State game, and they were not able to come back. Again, feed it to Taylor. On second and one, he's got the first down. Turn Dane had 2,109 <laughs> yards as a freshman, so got he it. hasn't even beaten his own uh, alma mater yet. On first down and ten, it's Chris James, his first card every single day. That's the kind of kid you love in college football. He picked Wisconsin over Harvard. Any, any further questions, people? <laughs> on second and eight, trying to hook up a Kendrick Pryor. And Late separation, making a play. Six of those defensive backs are in now on third down and eight. Hornibrook in all sorts of trouble. Able to escape. Flag flies now, and what a catch! Kendrick Pryor with what looked like Ed third down. It's David Edwards. Take a look going up against Trent Harris, the leading sack man for Miami, and that's a good call. He had the arm around his neck. That would have been a sack for Trent Harris had he not held 
and it's going to break up this great play between Horny Brook and Pryor. Edwards is one of those three All Americans on that offensive line for Wisconsin. That was a great job by Trent Harris. Might as well have gotten it. That's third and 17. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Horny Brook under pressure. And a throw it away. Manny Diaz senses blood in the water, and they're just going to bring a TE stun right underneath between Chad Thomas and Trent Harris. Both those guys get to the quarterback with ease. Nowhere for Alex Hornibrook to go. And the pressure. At the 21 of Miami. Taylor not in there. It's Chris James. Cool as a turnover team. Third down and seven. Ibrahim is in to get a chip. Trying to go back, shoulder throw, and it's caught. It's Danny Davis, and they're going to give him the touchdown. The true freshman, Danny Davis, on the receiving end. And Wisconsin struck. Great location on this throw, and just outstanding concentration from Danny Davis. That's right over top of D. Delaney, who started this football game in place of Malik Young, the, the starter for the Hurricanes all season long. They felt like Delaney was a bigger corner, and gave him the field, more opportunity to play, play against a physical team. But he gets beat by Danny Davis for the touchdown. They're, they're going to look at this a few hundred times, I think. It is going to go a long way for him as he continues to build this program back. Wisconsin trailing by four on first down and ten. Jonathan Taylor out just shy of the 35. After all, it's the Orange Bowl. A whole lot of cachet goes with that. Here's Taylor on the ground. And he has the first down. Different, okay? And they, they always will be different. They win national championships here, and that will always be the standard. That's coming from a South Florida kid, knows of what he speaks. A.G. Taylor. Freshman thought he might be the fourth string running back. Here's Garrett Groshek. His maneuver. His third down and two. Give it to the first man through. It's the fullback, Ramish. And he had an in pass play. And I don't think he needs football. I think that kid can do anything he wants in the world. He'll be 19 next month. Here's Taylor. He'll be dropped for a loss back at midfield by Mike. 77 yards. New life for Adrian Peterson. Easy completion to A.J. Taylor. The whole game. Yeah, they're down Malik Young right now. That's something to watch for. Third down and one. Give it to Ramish, the fullback again. You, got, you need a fullback, but you also need a great block here on the second level from this offensive line. Watch them take the defensive tackle and just deposit him into the linebacker. You have no chance to stop that play when you get that kind of push up front. On first down and 10. Back to Taylor. Miami. Danny Diaz said, we've got a TFL defense. Tackle for loss. Here's Ramish again out of the backfield. And the fullback showing the athletic ability. And the fullback has four touches, three for first downs. We haven't seen that the last few years combined. First down and ten. Back to Taylor for a couple. There's good news around these parts. Second and eight. Twelfth play of the drive. Hornibrook the fake. And the throw. Back shoulder. It's A.J. Taylor. Touchdown, Wisconsin. He beats Sheldon Redwine. Also had two rushes to convert third and shorts on that last drive. And on first down, it's Taylor trying to follow the block of Ramish. And so people are going to see. They'll have, a, they'll have an opportunity. Second down and eight. Again, it's Taylor. Play touchdown drive. Last time out. Tight man-to-man -man coverage. Here's third down and seven. Hornibrook able to complete to A.J. Taylor. Stepped up for Alex Hornibrook. Jazz Peavy left the team. Adam Krumholz is injured. Thin at wide receiver. Hornibrook looking down the field and trying to hook up with Kyle Penniston, the tight end. And on the center of getting these defensive linemen to jump off sides for them. Penniston had just seven catches all season long, so they don't go to him often.
It's Ibrahim, the ball carrier on first down. Three through camp here, so he's he just hasn't been healthy. Second down and three, Hornibrook on the inside slant to Danny Davis. The ball at the 30 of Miami. Wisconsin up three and looking for more, and that's not going to help their call one on the play. 45 seconds left in the half. Hornibrook thrown in a double coverage. A.J. Taylor is a different kind of category. Instant pressure on Hornibrook. Gets the ball away and complete to Kendrick Pryor. Down to the 10. Confident quarterback will give you. He knows he's got pressure from the right. Just buy yourself enough time, shuffle a little bit, anticipate that throw. They get a big first down, and they're in business. Normal for Mark Richt and the new rule. He comes out and argue anything on the field. They're going to call that. One more, and he'll be ejected from the game. Hornibrook back to the end zone. It's caught by Danny Davis for the touchdown. Confident player, and Alex Hornibrook right here. A lot of crossers in the middle of the field right there. Two guys. That is not easy to do. A lot of traffic in there, and to feather that thing over with touch, it's as good as it gets from the quarterback. And we're still wondering exactly what set off Mark Rick. And Molly's going to talk to Coach Rick. Or at least he's scheduled to talk to Coach Rick. Making the plays on defense. Now we'll see what they do on offense. Try to add to a 10-point lead. Jonathan Taylor at 85 yards and counting. Man to man, even without Quintez Cephas, Danny Davis and A.J. Taylor have been up to snuff. Second down and six. Wisconsin's converted their last five third down attempts. Not going to be six. Hornibrook is taken down. Your starters on that Canes defense. Yeah, look at this stance from Chad Thomas. He looks like a spider out there on the end of the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you what, David Edwards has had a tough game. I mean, he has not been able to handle whether it's been Thomas, Trent Harris. We're proud of him the way he's come back and played in this game. Check the end Wisconsin. Answer nearly intercepted. Roshek in there as the setback. And they hand it to him. His second carry. Hornibrook will step up and throw, and it's dropped by Kendrick Pryor. Thrown by Rozier. Just a turnover without the chain. Flip it to Taylor. The crash forward for three. On the 22. Hornibrook inside slant. Defenses and two offensive coaches that call plays and have a lot of pride in the way their offense performs. They've got their teams ready to play offensively. Play fake. Hornibrook out to Ramish in the flat, the fullback. Whatsoever from Paul Christ. Approaching midfield now. Seven minutes to play in the third quarter. Here's Taylor. And he's out across the 50. Wisconsin 173 points. They do think they're the better team in the second half. Take a look at this, Steve. Look at this on that offensive set. It's like you have a whole offensive line to the left side of the center. Because you got three tight ends in there, one of which is a tackle. What you're trying to do is create more gaps. And defenses have to be gap. Create three more gaps on the left side of the offensive line. You're testing Miami's ability to fill those gaps. Got four yards on that last play and maybe one on forward three. Hornibrook all by himself in the backfield. Rushing four. Hornibrook will throw on the run, and it's caught by A.J. Taylor. Game. Felt like Hornibrook could have run for the first down here, Steve, but he decides to pull the trigger. That's a dangerous pass, and he knows he's going to get hit by Jaquan Johnson. And time after time, especially on third down in tight coverage, Taylor's been up to task. Two fullbacks in there, not just Ramish, but Alec Ingold checks in. And Hornibrook doesn't want to give it to any of them. Now a throw. Down the middle of the field, it's up and dropped. Troy Fumagalli comes down with that. Here's second and ten. On the ground. Chris Chang stopped in the backfield for a...
Good pocket for Hornibrook. Underneath, it's A.J. Taylor again for another. He's a true sophomore. There's going to be some unbelievable targets for Paul Christ in this offense at the receiver spot next year. Second and three, here's Taylor. Amazing how good that run is. He actually bumped and draw we saw in the first half. Taylor's over 120 yards rushing. Groshek is in there now. And they hand it to him for no gain. 40 centration when the ball's been in the air. Groshek on the ground took a, a six-point game. Badgers lead with the football. Come back for third and 11. Hornibrook to throw it on the sideline. Could not connect with himself. 13 there. On first down and 10, Taylor on the ground. Maybe gets back to the line of script. 32 and a half minutes. Hornibrook to throw down the middle of the field. It's juggled and brought in. A.J. Taylor, great concentration. And seven black jerseys there trying to run into the zone. The protection was really good there as well. Taylor over 100 yards receiving. Hornibrook wants some more. And there is Troy Fumagalli. Checked in now. On the ground, Ibrahim gets to the line of scrimmage. Tremendous receiver for these Badgers. Second and nine. Again across the middle. Fumagalli's got his second grab. First down and goal. Wisconsin looking to add to that three-point lead. Hornibrook will drop it across and find Fumagalli. Winds up being a short situation. They love play action to the fullback. He's lined up down here. Hornibrook looking the other way. Able to complete for the touchdown. Danny. When the plays are the biggest. And Wisconsin will try to burn some clock. Truly some four-minute offense here. Here's Jonathan Taylor. Bring up a second. Down. Third down and one. If Miami can come up with a big play on defense, it's Ramish. Wisconsin offensive lineman coming off. You see 95 jump off there, but they're reestablishing the line of scrimmage. I mean, Miami wants to stop. On the ground. Miami is out of timeouts. On the ground of James from Wisconsin. Very impressive. Yeah. Won't be shocked to play action here from Paul Chris. Third and four. Okay, Tony Bromo. <laughs> Chris James.